Welcome to Kaylee Gangsters. In this video I'll be discussing the story of the New York kingpin behind Tupac's murder. This is the story of Eric Martin known on the streets as Von Zip. Not much is known about Zip's childhood and a lot of the information online is inference and not fact. However he was born around the Bronx and Harlem area and became a stick-up kid when he was younger, working for bigger crews and stealing drugs and guns. However he was also a hustler and his connections got him far, as he gained many links across America and the globe during the 90s. Zip was similar to Harry O in a way. Harry O was a member of the Bounty Hunter Bloods but he was a hustle and in his teens he became a big time drug dealer and put his money into starting and funding for Death Row. Zip was rich by his 20s and he used his money to help out smaller artists to spread his business. This is around the time he became friends with Puffy now known as Diddy. However on the other side of the shore he also met Keefe D and the South Side crew. All three parties met up when Puffy had rented Keefe D's car for a music video for Usher. We all know that the relationship between Biggie and Tupac turned sour so after Tupac was free and signed to death row, Puffy officially counted on Keefe D and the South Side Crips to be his protection when he was in LA and Compton. Zip knew that Keefe D was a serious player on the West Side but still kept his street beefs going so having the enemies of your enemies be your allies would be ideal. Fast forward to 1996 and Puffy has a clear bounty on Tupac's head, offering money to whoever could get him. After Tupac and his Pyro crew beat the shit out of Orlando Anderson aka Baby Lane, it was time for the revenge. Baby Lane was also a member of the South Side Crips and was Keefe D's nephew. Keefe D knew he could easily kill Tupac but he also knew he was in a different city with no gun and no way to escape, so he tried to arrange a fist fight between Tupac and Baby Lane and he knew his nephew would whoop Tupac. However Baby Lane wasn't about that and said he wanted to kill Tupac despite being a fan of his music. Baby Lane met up with Bubble Up who was the driver, Keefe D who was his uncle and a passenger and Freaky who was the rear passenger. They also met up with Zip and after Keefe told him he didn't have a gun, Zip pulled out a gun and gave it to Keefe. The four Southside members went looking around but couldn't find Shook and Tupac so they decided to stop at a liquor store and make their way back to hotel. However they then spotted Tupac cleaning out the car do Bubble Up circles around and Tupac gets shot in a drive-by. The crew then goes back to hotel and hide the gun in the wheel well of the car deciding to deal with the issue in the morning. However in the morning the gun was gone so they decided to drive back to LA to give the car back to rental shop, but they resprayed the car to avoid potential police attention. Fast forward a few days later everyone gets back to Compton and the war breaks put between the Southside Crips and the mob Pyro. Keefe also gets a call from Puffy asking if he was the one who got Tupac and after he said yes, Puffy agreed to give around a million dollars to Zip to give to them. However nothing is heard from Zip or anyone else. In 1998 Baby Lane is killed by corner pocket crips after he found out they owe Keefe some money and Freaky dies after a heart attack which was caused by his girlfriend potentially poisoning him. In 2009 the feds catch Keefe and he snitches. The feds then travel with Keefe to go to Zip and Zip tells Keefe that he took the million for himself and spent it as over 10 years had gone by. In 2012 Zip died due to cancer and now in 2022 Keefe has also got cancer. In 2015 the driver, Bubble Up was killed. After Keefe dies no one but Sugar will be left to tell the truth about what really happened to Tupac.